Hello everyone. Welcome to ACE Preparation League. In this session, we are going to discuss about a concept from conduction that is one dimensional steady state heat conduction through a plane wall or you can also call it as heat transfer through a plane wall. See, in order to do the derivation of this particular thing and to find out certain results like the heat transfer, first thing what we need to do is we need to understand what are the assumptions. So the first thing here when it comes to the assumptions is we are considering one dimensional condition. That means we will be considering heat transfer in only one direction and this is x direction because we are considering a plane wall here. Then steady state condition. What does this steady state mean? So there will be no variation in temperature with respect to time. So that's why we can write dt, this is temperature here by d tau is equal to 0. Tau indicates time here and there is no internal heat generation. So no internal heat generation means you will be considering qg small q suffix z is equal to 0. So these three are the assumptions that we consider here. Now let us go and derive the expression for this. So what we are going to get from this plane wall condition is, see here is the plane wall. So let us consider this direction as the x direction and this one is the temperature axis. Now let, let us consider the thickness of this wall as L and this is 0. Now on this side let us assume the temperature as T1. On the other side let us consider the temperature as T2. So in this particular plane wall we are going to determine three results. The first one is here we are going to know how will be the temperature distribution within the thickness L. The second one is suppose at some distance x, at some distance x within this thickness of the wall, I wanted to determine the temperature. How can we determine that particular temperature? That is the second thing. The third one is how much will be the heat transfer through this plane wall. Now to do that, First of all, let us consider the general heat conduction equation in the Cartesian coordinate system because this belongs to a Cartesian coordinate system. So what is that expression? So here d square t by dx square plus d square t by dy square plus d square t by dz square plus Qg by thermal conductivity K, this is equal to 1 by alpha into dt by d tau. So this is the general heat conduction equation and here K is the thermal conductivity and we are considering that this thermal conductivity is not varying with temperature in this particular derivation. Okay, so here as we have considered steady state dt by d tau is equal to 0. That means this right hand side term will be 0. Then qg the internal heat generation is 0. So therefore this total term becomes 0 and we are considering only the x direction. So y and z components are eliminated. So this equation now reduces to d square t by dx square equal to 0. Now our goal is to determine how will be the temperature distribution within this thickness. So for that what we need to do? We need to integrate this expression twice such that we are going to get this equation in terms of temperature T. So for that on integration for the first time. We get dt by dx is equal to a constant of integration c1. So let us put this as equation 1. Now let us integrate it again. So 
again integrating we get t is equal to c1 x plus c2 c1 x plus c2 so if you observe this one carefully this is in the form of y equal to mx plus c so from this we can write that the temperature distribution temperature distribution is linear here. So, temperature distribution is linear in this. So, the first thing what we are going to determine is this temperature distribution and we have got that. Now, let us go back to the diagram first. So, he said that the temperature distribution is linear. We got the temperature distribution to be linear. Suppose, if T1 is greater than T2, then we will get an inclined line like this pointing downwards here. Now, let us go for the second thing. So, we got temperature distribution to be linear and we need to determine C1, C2 values so that we can determine temperature at some distance x. So, let us take this as equation 2 now. Now, let us substitute the boundary conditions. What are that boundary conditions? At x is equal to 0, temperature T equal to T1. You can see the diagram. At this 0 line, the temperature is T1 here. So, putting that, putting that here, so T1 is equal to C1 into 0 plus C2. From this, we will get C2 is equal to T1 here. So, we got C2 equal to T1. Let us take this as equation 3 now. Now, let us substitute the other boundary condition. What is the other boundary condition? At x is equal to L, the temperature T is equal to T2. So, you can see the diagram. At x is equal to L, on this side, the temperature is T2 here. So, we can write T2 is equal to C1 into L plus C2. C2 we have got it as T1 from the previous expression. So, from this, we can write C1 is equal to T2 minus T1 by L. Let us put this as equation 4. Now, substituting C1 and C2 in equation 2, then we get the expression like this. Substitute 3 and 4 in equation 2 so that we will get T is equal to C1 is T2 minus T1 by L into X plus T1. So, this is the expression from where we can get temperature at some distance x. Now, we can write this same expression like this T minus T1 by T2 minus T1 is equal to x by L. So, this is another form of representing the expression. Now, we have got the second part also temperature at some distance x. So, let us go back to the diagram here. So, if I want to know temperature at some point here, that is at some distance x, we can easily determine by using the expression that we have got. now. So, this is the expression. Now, the third thing that we have to determine is the heat transfer. So, what is the formula for heat transfer? Q is equal to minus K A into dt by dx. See, if you observe equation 1, dt by dx, we have got it equal to C1. So, 
we can write this as minus k a into c 1 and this is minus k a into c 1 is t 2 minus t 1 by L. So, from this we can rearrange and write the expression like this t 1 minus t 2 by L by k a. This is the formula for heat transfer in the plane wall and this L by k a is nothing but the thermal resistance due to conduction in the plane wall. So, this is the formula for heat transfer. Now, for more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more interesting facts from our expert faculty members, you can download the ACE online app. The link will be available in the description box below. Thank you.